Is it my turn in the barrel? I think it is. Oh. <laughs> well, I was always a good joke teller when I was a kid, and I could make my mother laugh. And when you can make the goddess of everything laugh, you know, she's less likely to take a swing at you. And uh, I would, as I got older, I would tell off-color jokes to my mother, and she would, oh, Jackie, you're, you're awful. <laughs> and, but she still laughed. So that was good. And so I, I, I got in the habit of make, you know, telling jokes. And, and then a, a production company came. To, I lived in Berkeley, California. A production company came to town. I, I was like maybe 10 or 11 years old, and they were looking for 12-year-old boys to uh, be in a movie. And my mother sent my older brother, and she sent me to accompany him. And he didn't want to do it, and I did. But I wasn't old enough. And, uh, and I said, damn. And I, I always kind of kicked myself in the butt for not going and lying about my age. Uh, but uh, later on, uh, I, I decided I wanted to go to Hollywood and be a movie star. And I was going with this girlfriend, uh, Lynn McTavish. Oh, she was great. And Lynn McTavish. <laughs> That's what everybody said. I, I never, I didn't get it, but, uh, <laughs> but as I'm graduating from high school, her mother said, well, now that you're getting out of high school, what are you going to do with yourself? And I said, I'm going to go to Hollywood and become a movie star. Said, oh, God, you can't do that. That takes somebody special. Or to get real. What's the matter with you? And, and I thought, ooh, that's a bad thing to say. So I quit telling people. And I just... I, I sent my money home. I was going to go to the Pasadena Playhouse and become a movie star. And I sent money home for my, I was in the Army, sent money home to, for my mother to take care of, to put it in the bank for me. And when I got home, I asked where the money was. And she said, oh, I'm sorry, honey. I had to spend it. And I'll put, pay you back. I said, Mom, you have no talent and no job and no <laughs> prospects. How are you going to pay it back? Well, I meant well. Uh, okay. So I went to San Francisco State and uh, majored in radio and television. And this was in like 1955, 56. And the state of television was so in its infancy. And what they were teaching at San Francisco State was uh, for television, they had a black box with a toilet roll painted black on the front with, and it was on three legs. And that was what they had as a television camera. And, and <laughs> Sounds painful. So, so it kind of looked like McDavish. <laughs> what, what they were teaching was how to move the cameras in a two-camera oh. show, so you didn't trip oh. over the wires and stuff. Yeah. So we did that, and, uh, uh, and then the radio, sh the radio was in a state of flux as well. Instead of doing Lone Ranger episodes, the radio was transitioning into disc jockeys and what we have pretty much today. Uh, and, uh, but San Francisco State was still teaching Lone Ranger episodes. And when they did teach disc jockey stuff, they had some guy play, queuing up the records and they had a script girl and they had a director and they had all the, when I broke into radio, I had to do it all. And, uh, uh, you know, besides sweeping up and pulling the news off the news wire and rewriting it and doing, all, I mean, everything. And uh, it was devastating to <laughs> realize that that's what I was going to have to do. Well, I mean, after a while, you get to you figure out what to do. But So I did radio for 18 years. And that was like stealing because I'd go in and do a three-hour show and tell jokes, play music I liked, uh, and get paid for it. You know, And people would complain about their working hours, and I'd say, yeah, boy, I agree. I had to go three hours straight through with no lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, that always shuts them up, you know. So uh, going from radio, I transitioned into, when I finally got to L.A., uh, to uh, in, in, in discover, Wally Bird discovered me, and I discovered Wally. And uh, Wally was the director of a lot of cartoons. And that started me on the road to doing cartoons, and we just never have stopped. <laughs>